Hi, Cindy. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Suki, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you very much. And we would like to thank you for uh, helping us with our webinar today and share with our clients uh, about the life in Canada. OK, so um, actually I understand there is a time difference between Vancouver and Singapore right now. It's about 15 hours, right? Yes. So uh, we would like you to share some of your life in Canada with our clients. And um, just to start with, maybe you can introduce yourself a bit. Sure. So I will start with introducing myself. So my name is Cindy Ling and I'm now 24 years old. So I moved to Canada um, six years ago. So before then, I was born in Taiwan and um, I have lived in Shanghai for 10 years before coming to Canada, attending the um, University of British Columbia. So I accomplished both my bachelor and master degree at UBC. So now I'm working for a financial company and I am responsible for company's marketing initiatives. So the reason why I chose to move to Canada is because it's involvement. So people here, from my perspective, is very nice and inclusive. And Vancouver is one of the city that is ranked um, as the, one of the most suitable cities to live in the world, right? Because it's con um, considering as um, nice weather, um, like nice warm temperature and the fresh air. That's great. That's great. So, so actually, right? Um, what can you share a bit? Uh, what is the edu education system like in Canada? Um, so I would say um, education system. So, um, before I came to Canada, I I attended an BC offshore school. So like basically, even when I was in Shanghai, I um the curriculum that I took is um. Canadian curriculum. So the BC curriculum uh, is actually one of the most famous um, curriculums in the world. So and then for the university, I would say it's more challenged than the universities back in China or Taiwan because you are trained to be a, um, a logical problem solver. At the same time, you always have your choice to um, explore the area of your interest. Um, as there are a variety of pathways and no one will be judged for changing your pathway um, like along that way. So I would say, mm -hmm. I would say it's a very, uh, the education in Canada is very supported. Mm, okay, so other than uh, school, what do you do normally um, uh, outside, uh, last time outside of school, outside of work, and uh, what do you normally do over the weekend? So the weekend, so I would say um, one of the major advantages um, in Canada is its involvement. So Canadian really enjoy the outdoor activity. So in summer, I will normally um, go hiking or camping with my friends. And in winter, lots of people um, go ski, uh, skiing or skating. So because it's very popular um, like activity, the winter activities in, um, in Canada. So actually many there are uh, like every year there are many people will fly to Canada just to um, ski or skate. Okay, so uh, was it was it easy for you to blend into Canada when you first moved there? Um, to be honest, I actually experienced some culture shock when I entered my freshman year, the, my, the first year of my you know, university. But later on, I think it happens to every year one student as they are expected to be responsible and to be um, independent. However, as you all know, right, Canada is a, uh, is a very multicultural. So uh, because there are many people coming um, from basically everywhere. So for example, in my master's degree from UBC, so my, I, uh, my class has 48 students and we actually we came from 16 different countries. So due to the fact that you spend the time with different people, the like people with different countries, so you learn um, to respect um, the difference. So generally speaking, I would say that it is not very hard to blend um, into the Canadian culture as it is always very welcoming to me. No, that, OK. And do you feel any racism issues there? Uh, for me, I really experience discrimination issues as yeah, so as an Asian, like I said, Canadian is very multicultural, right? So you, you can see people from different countries everywhere. And people here are very respectful to each other's culture. So for me, actually, um, working with people from different backgrounds will actually allow me to see things from the 
different perspective and, and was benefit for my career and also my um, relationship forming with other people. Mm. So uh, one last question, if you had a choice again, would you still move to Canada? Oh yeah, definitely. I will still choose to um, attend school like in Vancouver and to stay after I graduate from my university. And one of the reasons that I um, love to live in Canada, so it's very, um, besides its culture, and one thing that I appreciate Canada is how Canada government treated people. So for um, example, so recently is COVID-19 like period, right? So due to current COVID-19 pandemic, um, Canada government actually support these people by giving out many types of um, subsidies. So for example, a citizen, citizen um, PR, or even people with um, working visa are entitled to apply for subsidies. So, um, so for people who lost their job, they are actually uh, entitled for 2,000 Canadian, like Canadian dollars every month. And also companies are like small companies or even large companies, they are entitled for the subsidy too. So from this perspective, from this time, we all uh, feel like that um, Canadian government really supports its citizens. Yeah, actually it is very important for a country to support their own people, right? Okay, so actually that's uh, basically, basically much uh, from uh, our side. Okay, and uh, we would like to thank you once again very much for joining today. Okay, so make sure you stay safe and mm -hmm. have a good night. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice to see you today. Thank you. Bye bye.